very honored to be amongst you today to share with you some perceptions, perspectives, which over the years we have acquired and developed regarding the issues of education, language, culture, and development, the challenges of development. Um, yesterday morning, driving from home to my office, so I don't go to the office often these days, so I think I'm getting closer to the grave. And uh, I want to do other things than to go diligently on a daily basis, like the tick follows the rhino to my workplace and back. But yesterday, I started not too early, but early enough. And I always listen to the SAFM radio in the car. And lo and behold, there was a gentleman called Benedict Dube, which set my mind thinking immediately. I know this name very well, but from where? Now, that's one thing. It turned out he was my former, he's my former student. And I saw him this afternoon as the afternoon progressed. His face started coming back in my mind. It was taking a recognizable form from the recesses of my mind. I was generating images of them in the past. And he told me he used to have Rastafarian type hair, dreadlocks, they call them. And that made sense too because I started trying to remember what the dreadlock boys used to say and what arguments I used to have with them. Um, Anyway, but it's wonderful to come to a place like this and know that he's made a success of his life, even at the early age of 35, organizing things like this, because it means he's going to go places. He's going to go very far. And with the ideas he's generating, the discussions he's generating with the society, what he's carrying for the society, we all wish him very well, I'm sure he will deliver. He will deliver things to South Africa. So he gave a brilliant performance. And as I listened to him yesterday, I thought I was hearing myself or somebody who's been reading what I've been writing. And sure enough, when I saw him today, and he reminded me that I was his teacher in the late 90s, was it? Yes. In uh, UWC in Cape Town. Uh, as the judge said, you know, his face also, I don't know why faces play hide and seek with my, my, my memory now. But I'm sure he's in the same problem. When I saw him, I could see also a younger face, uh, which is aging. And I remind myself that.